contactless sanitizer dispenser. This contactless hand sanitizer circuit facilitates the user to access the sanitizing liquid on hands automatically without the need of operating or touching the sanitizer bottle pump manually. The feature ensures that viruses have no chance of spreading through physical touching of the sanitizer bottle and its operating parts. However, to be automatic, the system will require some kind of sensor to detect the presence of a human or a human hand under the dispenser unit. For this we employ the most basic sensor unit, which is the IR or infrared device. In this video, we will learn how a contactless sanitizer dispenser is made. These are the components which are needed in this project. Triple 5 timer IC, 8 pin IC base, 2 10 kilo ohm resistors, 3 1 kilo ohm resistors, 100 microfarad capacitor, 1 red LED, BC547, NPN transistor, DC water pump, 1 IR pair, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. Triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in monostable mode. Initially, pin number 2 of IC is connected with the positive supply voltage and pump is in off state. This is the symbol of IR LED and this is the symbol of photodiode. When we put our hands in front of IR pair, then IR rays falls on the photodiode, so photodiode turns on and connects the pin number 2 of IC with the ground. Now pin number 2 of IC gets a low signal and triple 5 IC gives a high to low pulse at its pin number 3. Pin number 3 of IC is connected with the base terminal of NPN transistor. So when transistor gets a high to low signal at its base terminal, then it turns on and provide the ground supply to the water pump. Transistor turns on for a predefined time and then it will off. Water pump remain on till the transistor is on. On time of water pump can be increased or decreased by changing the value of this resistor and capacitor. On time of output pulse can be calculated by using this formula. These components will be used to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch inside the hole. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor will protect the LED from high voltage and current. Now we will solder the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the IR LED on the PCB. Remember that the flat side is negative and round side is positive. 
sleeves are used to avoid the shorting between its two terminals. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the photodiode. Photodiode is used in reversed bias mode. Connect the flat side of the diode with 10 kilo ohm resistor and connect the round side with the ground. Sleeves are used to avoid the shorting between its two terminals. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now we will solder the 100 microfarad capacitor. Short the pin number 6 of IC base with pin number 7. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Connect pin number 8 of IC with 5 volt supply. Now we will connect the water pump. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base with the ground terminal. Connect pin number 2 of IC base with the negative terminal of photodiode. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now we will plug the triple 5 timer IC on the 8 pin IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.